as aid workers, all of us the world over strive to help those in need. Those like Dahab, a young, physically disabled Sudanese refugee who wants nothing more than to get his life back to normal. But without community support, even seemingly simple goals, like going to school, are difficult for him to achieve. So what do we do? We try to help him and others like him by providing solutions like transportation and accessibility ramps for local schools. But these solutions only scratch the surface. Dahab is still bullied and discriminated against due to misconceptions about his disability, leaving him isolated and alone, even worried about going to school. But what if we tried a different approach and employed the principles of community-based protection? By engaging community members in the discussion and identification of their problems, by working to create community-driven solutions, and by implementing those programs together as equal partners in the process, we can uncover our problem's roots and achieve meaningful, lasting results that recognize the community's enormous capacity and resilience. And we start with Dahab. He and his friends lead our community-driven initiative with an awareness campaign that dispels the myths associated with common disabilities, along with identifying new accessibility solutions for local schools. While local parents and teachers volunteer to broaden our efforts by providing sign language for hearing impaired students and organizing a braille textbook share. With this approach, everyone involved has incentive to help protect the solutions they've helped to create. And you've enabled a community to utilize its own resources so that Dahab and his friends are now able to go to school like other kids. We understand that community-based protection takes time and effort, but the lasting protection benefits for people and communities make it a worthwhile investment. So join us today and learn more about community-based protection at unhcr.org.